Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And, and today we are beginning a new study on beginnings. We're, we're going to be looking at the, the book of Genesis really over the next several months. And I get to start off with Genesis chapter 1. Uh, and I want to just remind you what verse 1, the very first verse in the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then the rest of chapter 1 is about uh, what he did, the, the order, the intention. And, and, and I want you to understand that the creation account that's really found in the first uh, 10, 11 chapters of Genesis is an explanation of beginnings. Now, uh, it was Moses sharing with the people of, of God, the Israelites, uh, how we came to be in this world that we live in. And so his purpose was to try to provide some explanation. Why the world is this way? Who's responsible? What was the result of the choices that were made? The creation account unequivocally tells us who created the world. It was God Almighty. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Uh, it tells us that there was purpose to it. There was order to it. There was intentionality to it. That that God was systematic in his creation and very intentional in the way that he created. And then, of course, it tells us it was good. And when he created man and woman, it was very good. Now, here's the thing. The creation account in Genesis 1, and really throughout the first 11 chapters of Genesis, does not tell us how God created. It does not tell us what method God used to create, and it definitely does not tell us a time frame. See, in fact, I, I refuse to argue with anybody about when the world was created. Uh, I know there's some of you that believe in a young earth, and there's some that believe that uh, the earth is millions of years old or billions of years old. And, and quite honestly, I don't care if the earth is 6,000 years old or 6 billion years old. It doesn't matter one bit to me uh, about the authority of Scripture, or the accuracy of Scripture, or anything else. Uh, two reasons. First of all, none of us were there. I mean, nobody was there, okay? It was in the beginning, and God created the heavens and the earth, and God was there, and we weren't. So there are no witnesses to mark the date on a calendar and say this is when it all began. Uh, and by the way, that's not the purpose of Scripture to tell us what day the world was created on or what year and things like that. And secondly, and just think about this, in the creation account, the elements that we use to measure time which is the sun, right? Well, guess what? The sun, moon, and stars weren't created until day four in the Genesis 1 creation account. So how are you going to argue for six 24-hour days when the way we measure days wasn't even created till the fourth day? Now, could God have done it in six 24-hour days? Absolutely, he's God. He could also do it in an instant. He's God. He can do it any way he wants because He's God. What I know unequivocally, without a doubt, is that God created everything that is. It is good. And guess what? He created people in his own image. So when we talk about creation, let's remember that God is responsible for it all. He made it. That's why he's God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And that's why he's worthy of your worship and my worship. It is his creation we are his creatures, and we find purpose and blessing and life when we follow Jesus. I hope this blesses you today, and I pray that you have a great day. God bless Calvary.